Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we will refute the claim of atheists and those who believe in abiogenesis and evolution that unguided, unintelligent processes select amino acids. We can focus on empirical evidence that points to the complexity and specificity of biological systems, which cannot be adequately explained by random mutations or natural selection. So here we will answer their reply. Your reply is highly speculative and reflects only your personal views, not those of every atheist. While atheism, defined as the lack of belief in any deity, is a personal choice, rejecting the idea of God without offering evidence for alternative explanations, like evolution or abiogenesis, reveals a major weakness in atheism. Dismissing belief in God because there are multiple religions or gods sidesteps the real issue. What evidence best explains the complexity, fine-tuning, and origin of life? It's not about which God to believe in. It's about following the evidence. Modern science increasingly points toward intelligent design, ID, which is grounded in observable phenomena. We observe complex specified information encoded in DNA, the fine-tuning of physical constants in the universe, and the irreducible complexity of biological systems. As philosopher Antony Flew, a former atheist, remarked, The findings of more than 50 years of DNA research have provided materials for a new and enormously powerful argument to design. Evolution and abiogenesis, on the other hand, remain speculative. Abiogenesis has never been observed or replicated, and the theory of evolution struggles to explain the origin of irreducibly complex systems. Evolutionists assert that these systems arose through gradual modifications, but the lack of transitional fossils in the record undermines this claim. As Stephen Jay Gould, an evolutionary biologist, acknowledged, the extreme rarity of transitional forms in the fossil record persists as the trade secret of paleontology. To say that we evolved from animals is a simplistic view that ignores the interdependence of life. Animals wouldn't exist without plants, which rely on sunlight, oxygen, water, and nutrients, all of which point to a precise interconnected system. This intricate balance is better explained by design rather than random processes. You argue that belief or disbelief in God does not determine moral character, and while that is true, it misses a key point. The existence of objective morality, standards of right and wrong that are true regardless of personal views, requires a moral lawgiver. Atheism struggles to explain where morality originates, whereas belief in God provides a foundation for it. As C.S. Lewis noted, a man does not call a line crooked unless he has some idea of a straight line. You ask, why should I believe in your God over others? The answer lies not in personal preference, but in the evidence. The God of intelligent design is not a regional or cultural deity, but the source of the fine-tuning and complexity we observe in the universe. The universe operates by laws, laws that are predictable, measurable, and logical, implying a lawgiver. Modern times may require modern ideals, but truth is not subject to change based on cultural trends. The fact that some people interpret religious texts differently does not invalidate the existence of God or objective truth. Just as scientific theories are debated and refined, so too is the understanding of spiritual truths. Lastly, while variables in budget, location, and survival may dictate the details of life, they do not explain the bigger questions. Where did life come from? Why is the universe fine-tuned for life? Why do humans possess a sense of morality and purpose? Atheism has no sufficient answers to these questions, and the theories it offers, such as evolution and abiogenesis, are unproven and speculative. True science is about observation, not assumption. Intelligent design offers a coherent explanation based on observable facts. Complexity, purpose, and order are the hallmarks of intelligence, not chance. Until atheists can provide empirical evidence that life arose through unguided natural processes, their rejection of ID remains philosophically weak and scientifically unconvincing. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. We will see you in the comments.